Florida's Wild Catch TV. And guess what? Where are we going? Fishing. Fishing. Where are we fishing? Where are we fishing? Come on, man. Water. Sarasota, Florida. Right? We're going to go out there and get some shrimp and uh, go try our luck. And I'm taking the little man with me. What do you want to tell him? Give us a follow and a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. All right. And hit the bell. We are off. We're on the boat. We're, uh, we're about to go uh, check out our bait trap. How many bait traps do we have? Two. Joko? Two. Two. Okay. And Joko said he's going to pull both of them. Right? We're hoping there's some uh, pin bait in there. We, uh, we used uh, shrimp, some dead shrimp. We threw some dead shrimp in there to see if we can get lucky. I got to get some uh, skipjack later or uh, uh, bonita. Sorry, not skipjack. Bonita. Um, slab them out and then throw them in a bait trap so we can, so we can have a better chance because they like the oily fish. Uh, we set these up last night. Um, <clears throat> last night. Before I got out, I like I like the preset. That way, uh, all my uh, rods are ready to go, just in case. Just in case uh, one breaks, I just grab another one. I'm taking the little guy out today to go fishing. Um, I got the I got the 15 pound fluorocarbon on here with with the with the three odd hook, and uh, you got some some braid right there for for uh, for the main line. So we're, we're gonna be fishing some, uh, hopefully, some snook and uh, redfish today. And then uh, we'll go from there. Had some problems with the engine yesterday, but uh, we're good today. Suzuki's are amazing. Those engines, recommend them for everybody. But anyway, here we go. Hey, Captain, where are we going today? Bait. I'm gonna go get bait? Okay. Let's do that. Where's bait at? You driving? Pay attention to the road. There it is. Go right a little bit. Look at this guy. You're navigating it. Navigating it. Oh, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Guys at home, bring your kids out in the wild and on the ocean on lakes, in the forest, go hunting. This is what these guys need. They need adventure. Get them off those screens. Get them off the screens. Give them adventure. This is what they need. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You're doing a great job there, Joko. Doing a great job. Thumbs up. They have a bucket there too. Are the snook here today? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, that's a big boy right there. Look how big that thing is. Some big snook in here. Wow. Big snook, huh? Are you on this side? Not on that side. morning good we're gonna get some bait today look at all the shrimp and crab oh they got it going on here pinfish we have it all there it is florida at its finest right yeah feeding crab <laughs> giving them some giving them some food huh yeah i know yeah, the carpet, they're rolling through early this year. I noticed that. Yeah. 
for certain. I can see it. Every time I go out, I see him jumping out of the water. Oh, yeah. Like usual. Definitely yeah, going be a fun year. All right. So we're going to load up the boat, guys. We're going to load up the boat, and then we're going to go fishing. Yeah. Because I look terrible. What's your name? I'm Michaela. I'm a Dia. There she is, right there. She does a great job taking care of the whole fleet over here in Sarasota. No, you look great. Don't even worry about it. That's that's a, a working uh, a working person that needs to work right every day. True. You want to hold one? They don't have pinchers. Yeah, they take them off. They take the pinchers off. Ready? You got it? Show everybody. Right here. Let me get a close up on it. Whoa. Huh? Alright, we got some bait here. We got some bait. Shrimp in the in the well. Shrimp in the well. Let's see what we can pull off today. Huh, bud? Let's see what we can pull off today. Here we go. Took it? You sure? Wind it in, see what happens. You on? You're on, dude. You got a fish, dude. Wow, you got a fish. What do you got, buddy? What do you think? Keep winding. That's all you, dude. Slow down. There it is, dude. Oh, what do we got there, man? Huh? What do we got there? Look at that guy. We got him. We got him. Get in front, dude. Grab him. <laughs> Show the audience, man. Show the audience what you got. It's so yellow. So yellow. Look at that thing. What is it? Huh? It's definitely not a keeper. I don't Let's think see. It, that's not a keeper. Let we'll, me see. We'll check him out. Let's just check. Hmm? Let's just check. What do you think that is? I don't know. You don't know? Huh? No idea. We'll have to check that out, right? There's a spot. We'll check it out. I have the little guys do here. I uh, have this salt, Florida Saltwater ID handbook. This is completely 100% waterproof. Uh, basically, it keeps you safe. Make sure you uh, measure your fish. Make sure you are legal to keep them handling and everything everything's inside this little book but let's 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 uh let's see if you can find them come on let's see if you can find them look through here look through here for everybody okay let's we'll see if you can find them what do you think does he look like that what's he look like he has green and then he has green stripes he has green stripes he's different in the water he's different in the water that's cool huh Come here, look it. Can we find him? Let's find him for everybody. Where is he at? Where is he at? Can you find him? Hmm? What do you think? He's strong. He's strong? He's not in here. There he is right there. Can you find him? Look at Look at Where is he? Mm. Which one does he look like? He has a dot, so. None of those. He has a dot? No, not on the side. Let's take a look. Yeah, look. Look, he's just a baby. Look. Where's the dot at? The dot? Okay, where is he out here? Come here. Yellow. Come here, where is he out here? Mm, I don't see. He's not yellow. He's right there. That's a bigger one, that's why. See the dot? Yeah. That's a mutton. Mutton. Like a baby mutton, yep. So what do we got to do with him? He's too small. What do we got to do with him? Huh? Throw him away. Throw him, throw him back? Yep. Okay, we're going to release him. Got it all set up for you. Now you got to pull down on it. Pull down. Right here. Pull down right here. Pull down right here. Like that. And we're going to release him. Okay. There he goes. All right. 
Next fish. That's a good job, man. Huh? Next fish. Good job. Sorry, your video camera's too close. Next fish. Catch and release. Check these out. These are from overboardpro.com. I have them all around my boat. These things are amazing. Keeps keeps you from touching a fish, taking slime off a fish, and they just put away get put away like that. Really simple. I recommend this for a lot of people that uh that are doing fishing on their boats and you know, especially the charter guys. Makes it so much easier. I got a, I got one back here too. I got one here, so if you're catching bait, put it right over the bait tank, and then I got one on that side as well. I recommend them, guys. I recommend them. Oh! Are you on? Look at that thing. Huh? Check it up. Yeah. Whoa, mangrove snapper. Huh? Look at me. That thing's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> awesome. Can you bag it up? see how big it is? Yeah. You want it to sink. Let some line out. Pull some line out. Just pull a little bit. There you go. There you go. Let it let it let it go down a little bit. There you go. Put it in gear. Put it in gear. Put it in gear. Put it in gear. Wind. Wind. Boom. Look at that. All by yourself. Oh, it's a little guy, but it's okay, right? <laughs> that was all by yourself, dude. Let's do it. Uh, I'm... Huh? I'm Okay, let some slack out. Let some slack out of your line. Let some slack out of your line. Just pull up on it. Just pull up on it. Like this. Hold the rod. Hold the rod hard. Got it. Pick it up. Pick it straight up, Bubba. Pick it straight up. Hold it there. Hold it right there. Don't move. Hold it tight. See? See what we do? Okay. Now put the rod straight down. Like this. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Got it? Look at that. That's a baby, huh? Okay, okay. I just want to see how much how big he is. Let's let us let him go so we can catch another one. Can I just see how big he is? He's about five inches. I want to see. But let's let him live. Let's let him live. Let's let's see you do the hook. Let go. Let go. Let, let him go. Put the line through the put the line through the middle. Now pull up. Pull up. Other way, other way. Other way. One, there you go. Now pull. Now pull. Now, now pull, pull down, pull down, go down with it. Go down with the line. Let me show you. I want to pull up like this. I'm going to pull up and then go down with the line. Look, see? Wait. Like that. And he's going to come right out. There. See that? Perfect. That way we don't touch it. Sorry, guys. That way we don't touch it. It leaves it slime on the fish, right? Let's him live longer. Right? Thumbs up, dude. Thumbs up. You still got one fish. That's right. One? How many we get already? We got three today. We're going to do another one right now. Okay, let's do it. Let's release them. Let's release them. So we put you put it in there. Let's back this up a little bit. Okay, put them in there. Now go up. So you get grab the hook. Hair call, careful. Over here. And then go down. Go down with it. Go down. Keep it tight and go down. More, more, more. More, more. See that? There he goes. Good job, man. Easy, huh? Is that easy? Easy. All right, thumbs up. What are you gonna tell people? Subscribe. Throw a thumbs up. All right, and what, hit the bell? Awesome. High five. Dude, what do you got? Oh, this way, this way, this way. Oh, God, he's heavy. Keep winding. Where'd he go? Hold on. Hold on. There he is. Oh, don't let that rod go. Dude, that's a big one, dude. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Oh, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up. Grab the line, grab the line. 
Wow, dude. Bring it up. Bring it up. Oh, hold it in front. Grab that thing. Oh, up, up, up. Grab the line lower. Grab the line lower. Grab the line lower. Okay, bring it up. Put it in front of you. Wow, dude. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. Huh? <laughs> Let's release it. Put it right here. You know how we do it. Oh, you can't even fit. Put them down. Put them lo below it. Now pull them up. Pull them up now. Pull them up. Pull them all the way up. Can't fit in there. You gonna swallow that thing. He wants to swallow that thing. Oh. There he goes. Wow, dude. More. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't hug dad. Don't hug dad. Just throw it out right there. Throw it out. There you go. Put it in gear. Put your rod out this way. Point your rod out that way. Is it a big one? Is it a big one? Get him, dude. Come on. Don't let that rod go. Pull him this way. Pull him this way. Keep pulling him. It's all you, dude. No, I'm not helping you. All you. Wind that thing. Come on, man. Get some, get some line on it. Get some line. Up, pump up, wind down. Pump up, wind down. Come on, man. What do you got, dude? Come on, you're joking around. Come on, wind. Oh, there's another big one, dude. It's down there. Okay. All right, bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, that's a bigger one, dude. You've got the line. Okay, yeah, bring it up in front of you. Look at the size of that thing. Bring it up in front of you. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Look at that. Okay, put it around the thing and let him go. No, I want to see how big he is. Pull him up. I want to see how big he is. You want to measure him? Yeah. Okay, bring him up here. Oh. See how many inches this thing is. You're gonna show. You're gonna show everybody at home that's watching. Yeah. Let's measure him out. Lay him on her. Watch out, don't get poked. Lay him under. Oh man, he looks like he's careful, don't get poked. What do you think? 18 inches. No, no. Yeah, he's 18 inches. I'm not putting him. That's good. Don't watch out. Watch the spines. Yeah, his tail is over to zero. He's 18 inches. 18 inches, that's a big one. Let's go read some. Come on. About right there. It's 16. No, nope, he's 18. Like I said. 16. See? 16, 17, 18. Uh, because his whiskers are out. That's right, his whiskers. No, pick it up, doesn't actually. Pick the line up. Let's go, let's go release him. He's a big fat baby. Let's do it. He's a big fat baby. He's a big fat. Don't fall. Watch your step. You know how to do it. Let's go. Put it on that little device that we got. That we got. Okay, you got to put them in. The, you got to put them closer to the water, and then the lines got to go through. Just do, don't touch. Just put them over. There you go. Pick it up now. Pull hard. Nope. Nope. Here, like this. Like this. And then, you, and, then you, and then you go down. Look. See. See. Uh, then you have to touch them. Huh? Go get another bait. Hey. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a nice cast, buddy. Oh, you're on again, dude. It is wide open. Oh, boy. Pump that thing. Pump that thing, dude. Get him. Oh, it's wide open. Look at this. Oh, they're foaming on the corner. This kid is in them. This kid is. There it is. Grab that line. That one's smaller. Let's just release them. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's bring them up here. Let go. Okay, grab the line. You know how to do it. Grab the line. Mm -hmm. Guys, at home, just teach these kids how to do stuff. And it's, it's, uh, they, they, uh, 
tend to learn on their own and then you could fish yourself. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm telling everybody. Go ahead and uh go ahead, you know what to do? Look at that. I don't even have to tell anymore. Pull up. Pull up and bend. Switch the line over. Put it through there. There you go. Now pull up. Grab the hook. Do it again. Do it again. Stinker. No, no, no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put it through the line. Right here. Look at. Remember what I told you? There. See how he got the hook now? See how he's got the hook? Yeah. Now you go this way. And he's gonna shake and he'll come off. Come on. You don't want to shake now? This way. There you go. See that? Good job, buddy. Good job. Three catfish. Go. Redo it. Take your time. Stop. There you go. You're getting good at that, buddy. Oh, look at that cast. Atta boy. Put in gear. It's going to be pretty quick, I think. I think you're bit. No, no, don't reel, don't reel. Remember I told you, you got to let it, let it drift in there. You're being impatient. No, you're being impatient. You pulled it up too, fi too high. You pulled it up too high. Let it out again. Let it out again. Come on. I told you, you got to be patient. Don't be impatient. That's good. Just leave it there. Remember what I told you, don't pull the line out with your hand. You're being impatient again. Cast it out. You're being impatient. Stop. Stop. Nice cast. Now put it in gear and be patient. Stop. Put your, put your rod down. Put your rod down. Put your, no, no, not down. Tilt it down. Tilt it towards the water. There you go. Just wait, wait a minute. Watch. He'll come. He'll come. Stop moving around, dude. Be patient. You got ants in your pants. <laughs> I think you're bit, man. I think you got one. Oh, they, oh, you missed them, dude. You missed them. I, yeah, you missed them. Oh, that's it. Check it out, guys. This is a mangrove snapper. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut this guy up, and we're going to cook it. Cook it. We're going to cook it for Joko. He caught he caught his mangrove, and he wants to eat it with pancakes. Is that what you want? Uh-huh. Want to eat it? Okay. You want to eat it with pancakes? Uh-huh. Oh, that's a lot of pancakes, dude. <laughs> hey, are you? Did you? Are you starving? Starving? Yeah. Starving, Marvin? You need to wash Easy your on hands. that syrup. Don't need to wash his hands. He already did wash his hands. Well, anyways, we're, I'm gonna cut this up right now, and then we're gonna we're gonna cook it up for him. He's gonna he, he's gonna eat it up. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. So I got my 12 inch uh, fillet knife here, stainless steel blade. This used to be called a Forstner, Forstner blade. Now it's called a uh, Victor Knox. So if you guys uh, are interested in buying one of these, you gotta go online. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I would love to be. Uh, this is Swiss made and it is stainless steel. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's pretty glary. Yeah. No, put it down. Let's see if I can get it. It says your name on it. There it is. There it is. You guys can see that. Looks like they number them too and everything. So I'm going to use this knife. Uh, so we're going to flay this up. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go up top here close to his head. Come down towards the gut area. Slice it through. Right? Then you want to give it a little flay here. I've been using these knives for a while, so I'm so used to the big knives. This is how I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna show you how they do it in Florida, and then I'm gonna show you how we do it in on the West Coast, the way I was raised to do it. So I know how to do it both ways, but uh, any smaller fish, I think it's 
better to do it like this because it kind of saved the meat a little better. Don't drop your pancakes over there, dude. The pancake kid. There it is. And one. So that's how you, that's how they they cut the f fish in Florida. I've noticed. And then this is how we used to cut it in LA. That's where I used to live in LA. So now I live in Florida. So you would you want to put your tip in there and spin it. That way you get the most meat out of it, and you just come down come down the edge of it like this, all the way down. And you flip you flip it over, and then you just want to take the, the rib section out, just like that. And right there. Right at the edge, and then kind of like just twitch. You don't need to move the knife anymore, so just just twitch the skin. See how it's just doing it for you? Twitch the skin, and it comes right off. There it is, done. And then you know, I know people don't like the pin bones, so what I do is I cut those out as well. Same way as the Florida fillet or Southern fillet. Get that little bone right there. A little bone right there. So that's a complete fillet. And come back and do this guy right here. All right. So the way I did it, the LA style, whatever you want to call it, kind of faster. So we used to do those on the, the big cattle boats, the big giant sport fishers, because we didn't have much time. So we'd go out on half day trips and wouldn't have to, much time to like sit there and kind of like do a first class fillet, but this is kind of like a first class fillet. This is a fa fast fillet. So you're cutting, you know, a thousand fish on one trip. You got like an hour to cut all those fish. You got to like zoom through them all to make the customer happy. So that's why I did it like that. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a, there's a shrimp right there. Oh, check it shrimp out. Head. There you go, there's some bait. Huh? That's yeah. the bait? Yeah. Right there. The shrimp's head. Cut but anyway, there, there's the filet. Stay tuned. We're going to show you how to cook this guy up. Thank you. So here, you know what we're going to do with this? I'm going to make... I'm going to make... Uh, mango snapper fried rice. Does that sound good, guys? Can you see me? Yep. Okay. Mango snapper fried... Here's your filet. Here's our filets. Right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it up here. Uh, we're gonna use avocado oil because it's a it's a healthier choice. We do a little avocado oil. What I'm gonna do is I will fry up the fish first. Fry up the fish first. My wife already made some uh, rice, so we're gonna use that there. Let me make wait till this is uh, getting hot here, and then we have the eggs here. We're gonna throw some egg in there too. We got some eggs. These are organic. These are from the Publix. They're the Publix brand. Green, green wise. Uh, we're gonna put the eggs in there. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna cook the mango. Put a little salt on it. Himalayan sea salt. Okay. We already added that. You wanna you wanna use some soy sauce. Uh, my wife had this in, in the in the pantry. This is kind of like an Asian style uh, seasoning, so I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of use that with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in first, really quick. There it is. You see it? Put that in there. Cook that up real quick. It's not gonna take too long. Good there, guys. Fish cooks quick, so you don't want to, you don't want you don't want to overcook it. Oh man, it smells good already. Look at that. Look at that. When it's done, it's automatically gonna flake and fall apart. See how it's kind of like doing that already. I'll add a little more salt in there. Can't go wrong with salt. Salt's good for you. Let me forget that. Ooh, smells good. 
good. Mm. You get that little bottom, bottom little crust going on there. For it smells, extra like, smells like popcorn. It does smell like popcorn, doesn't it? You like popcorn? Yep. Oh yeah. There it is. So what do you just chop that up? You want it to be broken up in little pieces. Just like that. Okay? Mm. Good. Over the fire here. Stick, Stick the two eggs in here. Like this. Is it rolling? Got me? Mm. Got me, buddy? Yep, got you. Yeah, you Sorry if I get in the way here. My little guy's filming. Right. Don't burn anything. Mm, looks good. Oh, yeah. What do you think about that? Huh? Take some of that. Put some of this seasoning in. Yep. Japanese seasoning. Yep, it is Japanese seasoning. Put some of that in there. Is that spicy? Is that? Is it spicy? I like putting a little bit of paprika just to get the red out. I like I like the coloring in it. It's, it's not bad. It ain't that dirty. Okay. And then we're gonna get a scoop of this stuff right here. Check it out. Show them this. The happy spoon. It's mama's mama's uh mama's rice in there. Yep. Put some of this mm. rice. Fried rice. Mango fried rice. Look at that. Use it up, baby. Huh? What do you think? Should we use it all? Yeah, let's use it all. Yeah, I see it all. I think you guys are going to eat it up, right? Yep. So good. So good. Mmm, looks good. Okay, put that in there. Come on, a sec. All right. Break that up. Start mixing it all together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got some soy sauce here. I'm going to put a little bit of soy sauce in that. There you go. That's enough. Mm. You don't want to overdo it. I'm getting hungry already. You hungry? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that, boys. Huh? I'm going to add a little bit more avocado oil just to make it a little, uh, I don't want, you don't want it to have it, you don't want it too dry. You want it to have a little uh, moisture to it. kind of like you don't have that much that much fish you get the fish flavor in here mango snapper is so good and then you could you know everybody could have have a little bit of it got some egg leftover rice that we had from the other night use everything up and look got yourself a meal look at that boys an easy meal too huh is it's it easy meal, yeah pretty easy huh yep all right okay let's uh i think this is about done All right, so we're gonna bowl this up and uh, give us a minute and we'll, sh we'll uh, do a taste test. All right, okay, thank here you. Here we are, so guys. We, we bowled them up. We bowled up the, the fried rice for all the boys so they can do a little taste test. I wanna try it myself. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Try it. Get some fish in there. Oh, shit. It's hot. Mm. Is it hot? Oh, dude. It's ridiculous. I don't know if I want to give it to him. Mm, my God. It's good. Let's try the boys. See if the boys like it. All right. They didn't even give me a chance to like, here you go. What do you think? Rocco. Double. Triple. <laughs> it's hot. Blow on it. Mm, that's good. Is it good? Amazing. Amazing. Can't beat it. Look at that. Man. Slow down, man. Here we go. <laughs> Back in action here. Easy, man. Good. Spicy. It's a little spicy. It's also a little spicy. Spicy. You like it? Yeah, it's good. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. There you have it. Mangrove snapper, fried rice with egg. These kids are just chowing down. So, hey, thanks everybody.
that's my video. And uh, don't forget, please leave a th thumbs up, follow, uh, subscribe. And hit the bell. And hit the bell. That's right. Hit the bell. We'll catch you guys later. Thank you.